Ring, ring. Hello, it's me, Consequences. Our club president is back. Ah, hey, Miko. Have you completed your survey? Yep. All right, Sume. I've spoken to everyone in the club. Excellent. You'll make a fine underling. That's a delightful idea, that is. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about something. Very well. I suppose I can spare a few minutes. Make it brief. I still, I still need to decide on the best placement for our new postmodern interior light fixtures. Oh, boy. Well, Sume... I don't think the club members appreciate your style of leadership. Uh oh Did I strike a nerve? Go on. Oh, it just seems like your intense management stressed everyone out when you were in charge last semester. My understanding that every member would prefer if you didn't boss the club around the same way you used to. Well, except for Yasu, but he doesn't count. I see. So that's what this so that's what this is this is about. You want to keep the power you stole from me. That's why you didn't want me to lead that's why you didn't want me to lead this group. Uh huh, no. That's not it. The position of Shinogi Chess Club president is rightfully mine. I leave for just a few months, and you, a mere novice, attempt to assert my title in my absence. The club members, the club members elected me. I didn't choose this. But you wanted it, right? I can see it in your eyes. You're the same as me. I'd like nothing more than to be in control of this school. You know as well as I do that, that the Shinogi Chess Club holds the most authority among students here, whether they realize it or not. When their precious entertainment is shaped around this game, they'll flock to any sort of drama surrounding the matches we play. And you use that to your advantage? The controversy last semester proved beneficial for you in the end. You're so sure of yourself, but I know you're just projecting. Because that's the way you th that's the way you'd think about it. It's not wrong to want the power to change the world, here we go. At least I'm not lying to myself about my true nature. See this jacket I'm wearing? I'm sure you've recognized it by now. I'm the class five, class four student body president. Is that supposed to drum up some sort of sympathy? Right, the opposite. It's to show you that you're not the only one fighting for a change in this city. Everything that you can do, I can do better. The school has supported my endeavors for years. All I want is to help this club return to its former glory. At the expense of our sanity, it seems. Don't you care what everyone else thinks? You know it's best for you, Rico. You want the power to find your mother, right? Under my leadership, the Shinogi Chess Club will encounter so many other opportunities. Our strength will propel us forward. In time, we'll have the chance to play against so many people. These opponents might have the answers you're looking for. Maybe someday we'll get to play against a member of the Typhoon Initiative. Maybe that's what could finally lead you to your mom. Hey, Sume, I'm like... I'm like two chapters ahead of you here. Worthless fool. I can't bear to listen to any more of this crap. Sume Kyoshi, she's just another speck of dust in my grand plan. Nothing she says holds any weight. I will not bend the knee to someone as arrogant as her. How is, the, how is that you've learned so much about me? You've only been back for a day, but you seem to have quite the understanding of my time here at Yoshino. Every great leader has a network of assistants to bring back, back them up. You only need to ask the right people, and anything can be yours. Pitiful. I'm sorry, did I provoke the monster that's been lying within? You won't get what you want. I won't let you rent this club away from me, old oh boy. Here we go, you're going down the path. Unfortunately, the student body makes those decisions. Unless you're willing to wait for the next election, you're out of luck. I was voted Shinoki Chess Club president by my peers, and I intend to fulfill my campaign promises. Pathetic. She's clinging to every scrap of control available to her. Voted by her peers is the implication that, like, the role of Shinogi Class Club, Shino Shinogi Cl Chess Club president, has the same role of like a student body president. Why? Why do you want to push the club to its breaking point? What makes you think their leadership is better than it is better than mine? Why don't you walk me? F why don't you walk with me for a bit? Maybe a change of scenery can clear the air between us. You're trying to escape a scene, are you? Deplorable. Very well. It'll be a refreshing experience. I summoned my drone companions to attempt to put. Let's proceed to the courtyard then.
I get what we're, I get what we're shooting for here. We're really present we're really presenting with the several foils for the various stages of the path that Himiko is trending down towards, and she can either embrace it and become the very thing that she's seeing mirrored in these other, in these other characters around her, or realize that she doesn't want to be that and make a change for the better. It feels ultimately this is like a Himiko's path. What choice will she make in the next chapter or two? My entire life I felt that my education system has suffered from the strain of Shinogi chess. Oh. My family respects discipline and hard work. That's why we aligned ourselves with Takane Sakuma's political campaign. Political campaign. Oh. I thought I sensed a similarity between those two. Must be their charming personalities. The school has been far too lenient with its authority in recent months. You do realize the Shinogi Chess Club is meant to play chess, right? Mm. And I've heard you've been all focused on research and investigations this past semester. That's ridiculous. That's not fair. We couldn't ignore the threats that were issued with the Typhoon Initiative. You shouldn't have let a little incident like that get in the way of the sport. Huh? The school was in danger. True, but it's not your job to protect them. The Shinogi Chess Club should always have its eyes set on matches ahead. My goal has always been to help our school compete. To help our school to compete with the best in the prefecture. It's only through complete dominance in this game that Yoshida will become an example for the rest of Japan institutions. So you want every school in the country to be governed by a strict and orderly set of rules? Precisely. It sounds more like a prison to me. That's only because you haven't yet opened your eyes to the possibilities I'm unlocking through my cause. Shinoki Chess is the only tool afforded to us in this world. We must use it to win favor and convince the education system executives to change. Huh. So she has a goal of her own behind all this. She couldn't care less about everyone she tramples on if it would help, if it would help her cause. What does this sound like? Although, I suppose, in go in her current... In her current uh, status quo, is less is less couldn't care less and more. Uh, I'm trampling over everyone. Is more uh, is more unaware or in denial about the people that she's leaving behind, and she's steamrolling forward. You don't look convinced. As I said before, I'm only trying to help our club get back on track for now. The rest comes later. But you have to go on about it in such an extreme way. Satomi said that she's afraid of you because you held such high expectations for her performance. If I have been a little strict with our other members, it's only because I want to prepare them for the real world. But at what cost? If you keep treating them like they're expendable, they're just going to end up leaving the group. Good riddance, then. My club won't tolerate weakness. Again with this, again with this reluctance to see things differently. It's too close to home. Stay away from my friends or I'll crush all of your hopes and dreams. Wow! Wow, that was almost believable. You know, I've heard you let Kenshi join only because he knew some critical information about Zone 8. Part of your search, perhaps. Uh, what? How could you know that? Let's be honest here. You don't truly care about them, and you never will. Call it out. With me, you don't have to hide that. No need to be ashamed, neither. Do what's best for you. That's how it should work. That is, of course, the best way to prepare every student for what they'll face in this corrupt world we live in. How do you know so much? What have you done? I told you already. A great leader needs a great network of information. Perhaps you should try attending the club week event tomorrow. Maybe we'll get an idea or two. Huh? Is that some, some sort of clue? I think it's clear that you're not going to see reason, so I'm not going to entertain your coup any further. Shinogi Chess Club's mine. Challenge me again and I'll have no choice but to eject you from the group. But I don't think you want to test me, Himiko. My family and I have resources beyond count. Appreciate your ambition, though. Learn your place, and maybe you'll pick up a few scraps in Yoshino's journey to perfection. You 
worthless traitor. I'll free the Shinogi Chess Club from your grip. One day soon, I'll take away your title. Make sure you never hold an ounce of power again. I'm looking forward to watching you. I'm, I'm looking forward to watching you try. Hmm. Everything I've worked towards in this school is about to crumble away. Sumi stays in control of the club. My influence over this school will be lost. She saw my doom. I don't give a damn about the other club members. I just need my minions to work in, to work in my favor. I must remember the ultimate strength I discovered last semester. My social connections are my path to the top, and my fifth struggle over who leads the Shinogi Chess Club will be the deciding factor. With Sume, I'd like to call I'd hold sway over every single student that's chosen her side in this war. That's out of control, I can reaffirm my position as the best player in Yoshino High School. It would be so easy to enact my revenge on everyone that wronged me, and my mother's pitiful life. Once it makes it to the top, I use my influence to silence any thoughts of resistance. If it takes a complete military occupation of this prefecture, I will put an end to the fighting. Before I get carried away, I should heed Sumi's advice and gather what resources I can for the conflict ahead. Information, information will be the most effective weapon against everything that plagues the city. I won't have any chance at stopping Yuko's insane plot. I have to learn more about the technology she hopes to control. I know just the dim-witted mechanic that can tell me more. So what I'm getting is that she didn't learn anything from this club meeting. <laughs> she didn't learn any lesson from this club meeting. She's just humor, still humoring her fellow clubmates. Um, hello there. Machines, we're surrounded. Flee! Huh? An ambush, beaten down the hatches, incoming photons! Am I getting deja vu or have you been through this already? Mr. Taxi, it's okay, it's on me, it's me, Himiko. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, I saw about that. You just spooked me as all. Sure does scare easy for someone that works with firearms. It's been a bit since I've seen you. I've been so worried about your safety. Oh, I've been fine. Thanks for asking. Not you. I'm talking about your Yui over there. What a marvelous machine. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I guess I guess I should have figured. I just wanted to ask you about something. Oh, is this to do with those programming lessons I gave you a few weeks ago? Aha. Uh -huh. Um, sort of. I want to know if it was possible to... ...refine a drone's behavior through a remote connection. Ah. So you're interested in taking over my job, eh? No, 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 not at all. Is that something you're familiar with, then? Aye, that's pretty much exactly what I'm paid to do here in the drone workshop. Eh? As the Oceano's resident drone expert, self assigned title. I'm looking to continuously monitor and modify our security drone. That's like what you were doing at your station when I first met you, right? I believe you were tuning the firing precision for one of the drones in our school's cache. Yes, exactly. That's an excellent example. It would be quite tedious to require a physical connection to each drone in the fleet. Just to adjust a few behavioral practices. That's why Yoshino High School has an authoritative control system here in the basement. It's next to all of our drones via the wireless network. If I'm not mistaken, I believe I showed you how to use the visual scripting interface on our server last time. That's how we're able to set up more complex override behaviors. Most of the time, I'm just performing tests and minor adjustments. Right, that's what I used to threaten Kana last week. Right. Well, sadly, how exactly do the drones know whether the control source is, auth is authentic? Couldn't someone fake the signal? Aye, that was quite the concern for the drone engineers around the world. Thankfully, we've had a solution for many decades. The same technology that secures your data you send over the net is applicable for our mechanical friends. Oh. See what we call the TLS security... TLS handshake. A drone and control server establish a secure connection. The system each entity sends a message to agree upon an encryption scheme which is used for further communication. Each implementation of the system will be different, but in our Yoshino fleet example, the handshake will only complete when the server has verified that it's talking to a drone on the network. 
that secure connection has been established with it. And only when that secure connection has been established with a control source and a secret key or password that signifies legitimacy. Yeah, it's... Thanks to some clever engineering, the drone will perform the behavior change and the server's key matches what it expects. That pretty much tracks what I know about TLS. This has got me thinking way too much now. It's a proper explanation of it. Yes, the service key matches what he expects. Yep, essentially, TLS handshake protocol. Technically, in that process, it's the client contacting the server. Exchange messages, agree upon the protocol to use, verify the server's public key, against the certificate authority. If I'm understanding correctly, there's two important identifying tokens involved, one for the server and one for the drone itself. Aye, exactly. Both are heavily guarded by many layers of security. That's why nobody would be able to fake an important transaction. If that's the case, then it makes sense why Yuka would need to target the military's command center to execute her plan. Can I ask a hypothetical question? Which, I mean... Again, it's a pretty spot-on accurate depiction of how a TLS handshake works, how it's secured. Uh, but... I mean... In this instance, I suppose it would work if, like, the drone is periodically contacting its home server to poll for updates and whatnot, and it executes a TLS handshake each time it's con it's contacting the home server to pull for updates and whatnot. When you think about the drone, it's like the setup that, I don't know, makes... Hey, made me. Would also kind of fit Yuko's plan if, like, say, the home server that we're talking about in this instance actually hosted the core and it's the authoritative control system here. Like this authoritative control system here. The way this the way this end of this makes the most sense is if like the authoritative control system actually Hosted the core programming details, memory, protocol for all the drones. And the authoritative control system pushed those changes out to each individual drone. Each individual drone just sort of... Yeah. Like, they were literally drones connecting to this host. I feel like that's... I feel like those kind of mix two different things here, which both work in a fictional setting. So, I will not question this further. Hi, go ahead. In a fictional context, in a fictional context, I can live with that. Some of the bad intentions was to attempt to use the control server for, ne for nefarious purposes. How tough would it be? I don't worry about, don't worry yourself at all. These are highly secure systems, after all. Uh, should I tell them? Last week I sort of noticed that uh, there's no password protection on the admin account for Yoshida's behavioral control system. That's kind of bad. Wait, really? Uh, I'll get that fixed right away. Oops. So I won't be able to pull that reprogramming trick again. Well, aside from that, that thanks to the server side key, nobody can replicate the control signal unless they basically on the console itself. But if you get into the server, you can do whatever you want. Is it the same for other fleets as well, like, say, for the Japanese military? I'm glad you asked. Yoshida's drone technology is actually provided by Skyway System Industries, or SSI for short. SSI, the same company Yuko mentioned when she was talking about private security. Since it's funded by the government for your protection, naturally it is manufactured by the same company employed for military use. So SSI powers the military's auth automated weapons? Aye. I myself had to receive training in military grade equipment at SSI headquarters in Japan. This is sounding worse by the minute. Military infrastructure is in the hands of a private company. Oh. Perfectly legit. 
You know, it's quite interesting that, that SSI drone engineers are expected to wear this uniform. Historical significance is truly a one to behold, Mr. Taxi. Please tell me there's more advanced security behind the military's behavioral control center. Well, I'm not sure how much I should divulge, but as a registered SSI mechanic, I am familiar with some of the techniques used in our convinced defense programs. Please tell me, for uh, science. Very well. I know of at least one trick SSI applies in that sort of extremely secure environment. As I explained, the control server has its, has its own identifying key, which is required to perform the adjustments remotely. The military's communication center actually doesn't even store that sort of information on the device used to send the update. Wait. The server doesn't have a copy? Then how do they send out a valid signal? High ranking individuals who actually perform the adjustments carry the code on them and input their personal data pad to the system. That way, if anyone was to access the center, they'd be out of luck if they didn't have a valid control key. I see. So it's like keeping the eggs out of, some, out of the same basket. Yeah. Since their systems encompass not only drones, but personal firearms and vehicles as well. It makes sense why they need so many more precautions. There are over 8,000 autonomous military machines across Aichi. While dozens of operating basks and bases hold authority over their deployment. Like you would think, we have our control server, which uh, hosts the core programming and pushes it out to the drones. But drones are emulating a copy of this control software, so they can operate autonomously even when they can't contact the home control server. So it's not a constant connection; it's more your core programming lives on our control server. We push out copy onto your local storage so you can function autonomously. Tracks. The highest level command center can push behavioral updates to all of them directly. That's the top of our country's armed forces. In that case, I think I understand what Yuko is hoping to achieve. Just to claim to get she must be planning to acquire that secret key and storm the compound with some sort of virus to bypass their account system. And if she succeeds Thousands of drones will slaughter countless soldiers and civilians. Talk to someone. Thank you, Mr. Takasi. That was a huge help. Just, uh, don't go breaking into the central command center with that knowledge now. I wouldn't dream of it. Who's concerned for our prefecture makes more sense after hearing all that. Though the government claims to have control of these weapons, SSI seems to hold all the keys. Literally. Like how one knew that much about our, these drone systems, how much more could someone know if they worked more directly with the company? That vulnerability could prove to be, de to be devastating for us if the information falls into the wrong hands. Yet still, I can't help but wonder if Yuko might be right in targeting this flawed arrangement. An attack on the very system that protects us would go a long way to, de to demonstrating the danger of this reliance on private security. In some ways, regardless of the outcome, her assault would change the world. Isn't that... I hope to achieve this whole time? Even so, I can't just sit around while those thousands lose their lives. I promised myself that I would end this fighting. I'll do whatever it takes to win. The next day. week, the second week in a row. Hey, certainly is a weird tradition of our school has. I guess with all this focus on extracurriculars, we tend to go a little crazy during this season. Right, Yui? Sumi hinted that I should try attending this event to learn about some sort of information network. There's an investigation club. Got some time to spend before classes start today. I should ask around and see if I can get any hints as to what she was talking about. Between the wings of Eden, Sume, the fall contest, and club week, I'm beginning to feel overwhelmed. With these concerns about the future of the chess club and the safety of our school, I can barely keep up with it all. All that, all that rests on my shoulders. I can't come up with some sort of solution to both of these problems. The school and the prefecture could reach a critical changing point. I must prepare for whatever comes next. 
it's right imperative that I acquire the information necessary to formulate a plan of action. I'm lucky I might discover the reason why Sume knew so much about us when she was overseas. Now then, what's going on for Club Week today? Hey, do you think it's too late to, 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 to join the manga club? I heard that they're pretty relaxed. Why don't you head up to the table and ask? Hey, is it the basketball club still away at that big tournament? It's a lot happening today. I had to guess the students running the event could probably lead me in the right direction. Club taste. The club table seems like a good place to start. Let's ask around, Yui. Club week. Oh, a bit of a happier music. Yui, have you, have you found anything useful during your investigation? Um, I'll take that as a no. Also, I appreciate the spin, but can't you do anything else? Do a trick, Yui. Or else you have no value to me. Sometimes I wish Yui could actually help me in these investigations, but maybe she doesn't have, maybe she doesn't have the programming to do that. Maybe she's just tired. I say that the bot rest. Club. Oh, greetings, Amigo. Kenshi, what are you doing here? This is the table for the Yoshito High School Art Club. Looking to join? Uh, no, no thanks. Hello. Oh, then, uh, what'd you want to talk about? I was just curious about the different clubs recruiting today. A little shocked. I didn't know you were part of the art club. Oh, well, to be honest, I'm uh, not. Huh? Then what are you doing here? Find that table. He just asked me to keep watching hang out flyers. Oh, very charitable of you. Uh, Kenshi, would you happen to know anything about an information network here at the Oshino High School? Information network? This related to that Zone 8 stuff you were looking into last week. Actually, that's has to do with something Sume mentioned to me after the club meeting yesterday. Apparently, she's been keeping an eye on everyone while she's been away. I want to find out how. She's been spying on us? That's... That's unsettling. I'm sure she would be serious about taking over the club. I think so too. Nothing rings the bell then. No, sorry. I think you're on the right track though. The clubs at this school tend to be very obsessive. I think I've been learning that the hard way these past few weeks. There you go, you should know. My parents had a network of spies when they were running their shelter a few years ago. It's absolutely vital for keeping their means discreet and out of sight from the government. But it ended up being the nail in their metaphorical coffin. Wait, you mean someone who was a part of the network? Someone they trusted? I don't know the name of the one responsible, but... This individual betrayed my parents by reporting the location of their sanctuary to the authorities. Only warnings were issued, thankfully, but it marked the end of any sort of significant help they could provide to the Zone 8 residents. With all the resistance groups taking action in recent years, the government probably wanted to minimize gatherings like that. It's cruel. I haven't even been able to assist those in need because of the possibility they'd form rebellious thoughts. Needless to say, that's part of the reason why I turned to the other, other ways of fighting injustice at some point. If that's the kind of outcome that stems from doing things the right way, why is the world so opposed to the idea of the Typhoon Initiative? If my own family failed to help the people suffering from corruption, why do they judge me so harshly for making a difference in my own way? see why that would be challenging to deal with. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. That's my burden to carry, not yours. Regardless, the point is, if you're looking for a network of spies, you may want to consider how much loyalty they truly have. If someone is providing information that Sume is willing to flip sides, it could turn the tide in the struggle for control of the club. Hmm. Thank you, Kinchi. That was a huge help. Any time now. Now, if you don't mind, we have to get rid of these flyers. Take a fly. Oh, here we go. Did you need anything else? I'm just wondering why they chose you to stand at the table if you don't even attend the club. I mean, the developer of this game was supposed to give me this whole artistic angle to go along with my poems. Eh. 
kind of a shame, really. I guess I got lost in the initial draft of the script, but my character had way too many interests to talk about. Yeah. Do you know, I kind of like these aspiring poet, poet angle. It's unique. It's stylish. Okay, we're getting too bad at what? Oops, looks like I shattered a string to the fourth wall again. My bad. Your, your game too strong. Oh. Game too strong, you break through the fourth wall. Uh, hey, Yasu. Here we go. Whoa, this is incredible. What's this been? You actually want to join the manga club? Sorry, no. I was just looking around. Fiddlesticks! I'm so confused. I thought you said last week that you quit the manga club. I did. And then I rejoined today. Talk about indecision. Yasu was pretty sad about missing the manga club meetings in spirit, so Yasu decided to once again attend the meetings in spirit. <laughs> Yasu Yasu has the power of a spirit projection! Right? And it's only then when I discovered these unique stories could actually help me play Shinobi Chess. It's one story we're reading called Shinobi Justice. We learn so much about chess strategy in the federal court judicial system. Uh, we just wasted time checking this table. I just wanted to ask a quick question, if you don't mind. Oh, go ahead. I've got nothing better to do. I don't think you knew anything about an information network at, Sh at Yoshino High School. Uh, Ah, uh, Yasu, you okay? Oh, sorry, I fell asleep for a second. Not this again. I answer a question, though. I haven't heard anything. Oh. So he wasn't trying to avoid talking about it? Yasu isn't sophisticated enough to fully understand what that is. I wouldn't be surprised if something like that is happening. Yoshida was very bad last semester. This place was more dramatic than one of my three season anime. The school harbored criminals like Kana, and the board members were bribed to keep them safe. It was truly evil. The investigation to remove corruption should have targeted that sort of illicit, illicit activities. I don't think you have to worry. It's only thanks to heroes like Calvin Cross that I felt safer on campus. I see. The network I'm talking about is apparently still ongoing. And it's not related to the initiative. Ah, then it might be tough for the investigation team to become aware of that. Sorry that I can't be of help. But Yasu knows that she'll do the right thing by putting a stop to this networks. Uh, thank you. Oh, certainly trying my best. Oh, Himiko's back. Did you enjoy our conversation that much? I did, actually. I'm just surprised that you both fainted and had a sincere moment in the same dialogue. Oh, darn. Have I really become that predictable? I'll have to try hard then. him. Talk me again and I'll faint twice. That's quite the promise. I have to take care of that offer. Alright, Yasu. Gonna collect the debt you owe. Oh, that was quicker than I expected. Ha! Ah, I'm awake now. So, were you surprised? You promised to faint twice, though. That was only once. No, you lie. I did faint twice. The second time was just when Yasu was already on the ground. Faint game too strong. Mm. Yasu faints when no one is around to hear it. Is it really a faint at all? I won't get caught up in the vintage tales. Alright, guess that counts. I'm satisfied. Excellent. <laughs> At this rate, I'll, bet I'll beat the fainting goat faint world record in just a few years. But, what is the world record? Good luck with that. Well, we got the achievement, so it does count. Yasu yeah, was done fainting for the day. That's a first. Sorry, Yumiko. You have to go somewhere else for your comedic relief. Now reading, Shinogi Justice, Defense on Manticore, Grandmaster X Family. Hmm, <laughs> a one chess piece, nice. Grandmaster X Family, is that a spy family reference? Oh god. Defense on Manticore. Expand your knowledge and sign up today. Amazing. <laughs> We're gonna admire Yasu's table in a second here. That is cute. But is that chess, Yuri? Give me 
chest, Yuri. Wait, why am I going home? School didn't even start yet. But I'm right back for the developer gives me detention. I'm giving you detention. Okay, fine. I need to close enough to read you. Oh, hello. Who is that? Oh, artists welcome. Except you, Yasu. <laughs> all, artists ex all artists accepted. All compositions are celebrated. Heck yeah. We'd love to see it. Oh, eh, 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 eh. Get your art featured on the net. Oh. No Yasus allowed. Alright. Basketball. Huh. This is the table for the Yoshino High School Basketball Club. It seems like no one is around. The care that the club is away at some sort of contest. That explain their absence. Yoshino isn't very big on sports. We do our best to keep up with the other schools in that regard. Considering that, I don't think the basketball club will carry the same sort of influence as our other extracurriculars. So we'll be able to find new leads here. I'm going to check elsewhere. It's like football at American High School. Sign up today for tryouts. What can we read? Can we read you? I don't think there's anything meaningful there. This looks like a game schedule. Oh, wow, hello. Ubing Academy, IT Central, 8578 in overtime. Ubing Academy, 7260. Damn, we crossed Kume. Ushi International, 7865. Not bad, not bad. Alright. Oh, I did not even know we could zoom in slightly with the right click. This is the Investigation Club. Hello. And with the EC office today, new mysteries arriving weekly. Solve the latest problems faced by our capitalist society based. Today, same today. Been fun to see on your desk. Hello. Ah, hello. Your name was Imiko, right? Well, that's right. Good to see you again, Aiko. This is so exciting. I can't believe I'm talking to our number one rival. Uh, but don't need to get too worked up about it. You've been in charge of the investigation club table. That's right, don't tell me. Are you betraying your chess friends to join us? Uh, no. Perfectly fine, the Shinobi Chess Club, thank you. I just wanted to ask you about something. I'm oh, okay. Just don't tell the club president that I spoke to you. Yeah. Not to worry. I'm an expert at keeping secrets. Ayako, won't your club happen to be part of an information network at Yoshino High School? The investigation club seems like the perfect candidate for that sort of thing, considering all the research you guys go through. To the end, have you been keeping a close eye on the Shinogi Chess Club? That is actually likely. Wait, are you serious? That's a very interesting way to put it. So, it's true? We definitely have eyes and ears around the school, I can tell you that much. Oh, really? That's a little suspicious. It definitely is. It's a necessary inconvenience for those wanting to keep secrets around here. The Investigation Club prides itself on, be on being the first line of defense against any sort of internal threat at Yoshino High School. Well, at least we used to be. You kind of already uncovered a dangerous organization that was acting undercover at the school. Y you're welcome. So, let me get this straight. You spy on the students, in fact, so that you can intervene if something seems out of place. Oh, it's nothing that extreme. We'd just like to be the first to know about certain events in case it becomes relevant for a new mystery. Our features isn't exactly invasive either. We just have a list of students that are interviewed weekly about the latest rumors. Hmm. 
Still sounds like an impressive response. Resource? Chess Club's popularity ensures that even our most secretive employers are the subject of gossip across the entire school. For example, word got out pretty easily when the other members elected to have me lead the group back in March. So, could the investigation club be the source that Sume was hinting at? Would you ever be handing out the information you collect to anyone? Like, say, to Sume Kiyoshi? Huh? I got no idea. I conduct some of the interviews, but I'm not the one to ask about who gets to see our private files. If you tried asking the investigation club president, I bet he would know more. Well, if he's even willing to speak to a great rival like you. I guess this is all I'll be able to, f to learn for now. The investigation club has certainly caught my eye. I'll have to look into this further. Thank you, Ayako. You've been a huge help. Oh, any time. As truth seekers, it's our duty to disclose the harm methods to the public. It also means... You owe me one. How about we interview you sometime? It would be perfect for my novel. Uh, um, uh, sure. Let's schedule that at a later time. Yay, see you soon then. See you now. Hey, Aiko. What are you do? What are you up to now? Sorry, can't talk. I'm organizing files in my mind. It's for my novel. Inside your mind, palace. Okay, okay then. And in 2008, Chloe finished reading a total of 82 history books. Let's just leave her be. Hey, what gives? We were in the middle of a conversation. You could just stand there. <laughs> oh, I guess I should have figured that would happen. But in my defense, I was barely animated students had never interfered with my investigations before. Curse you, sequel development. Ever evolving immersion. Oh, we're gonna do it again. You are all my pawns. Get used to your insignificance in my grand design. Uh, okay, bye. It's back. Oh, a central decor element. All right. Students often like to hang around near this fountain when they are waiting for classes to begin. I can't say I blame them. This is a beautiful addition to the entrance pathway. We should toss a coin in for good luck. the perfect chance to throw a coin and make a wish. Ah! A lot of coins! Well, I... Yeah, it goes that idea. What's going on here? Huh? I should just leave the des designated level area. Melfer's hands are fighting against a cargo tunnel for modeling so many detailed objects. I should go easy on the poor guy. Talk to them to be interfere in their conversations. They are mongrels. Oh. I can't just walk away. I have to find out what I can do about this information network. And yes, there's a severe lack of grass objects out there if I go too far in this direction. What else is new? I want to talk to them. I want to get in the way of their conversation. This is about me. Yushno High School Shinogi Chess Official Club. Sign up today. Answer meeting times and clear your schedule soon. Practice auditions are now available. Exclusive interviews available today. Here's a Shinogi Chess board. I see. Become the next Shinogi Chess champion. Details reach out to. Kaito Sakuma of the Shinogi Chess Club on details down there. I cannot make out too clearly. Anyways, hi Kaito. Hey Kaito. Guess you're still running the Shinogi Chess Club table? Yes. Apparently everyone thinks I'm the best fit for this sort of thing. I do believe it's because of my charming personality. Your conversation with Sume yesterday seemed pretty heated. Is everything okay? She's still planning to resume her role as the Shinogi Chess Club president. I don't like how she intends to run things. Well, I can see why she feels that way. Sume was widely elected to the position, after all. 
Don't tell me you're taking her side, too. I mean, she has a point. I'm not, but we can't keep fighting everyone at the club simply because of our personal disagreements. I myself wasn't too fond of Kenshi joining last week, but I trusted your decision. You told me in the past how you suspect that your mother is behind the recent attacks and that we should be focused on finding her. I'm not sure if you heard the news today, but that idea is more relevant now than ever before. Isn't this, time, isn't this the time for everyone in the club to work together against a common enemy? Shouldn't we be focused on advancing our shinogi chess skills as a team so we can stand up to a violent people like Yuko Masaki? I can't believe this. Is Don able to see Sume for who she really is? The man's got a point. I just wanted to ask, have you been providing information to Sume while she's been away? What's this about? You told me yesterday that there was some sort of information network that kept her up to date during her absence. Ah. Uh, Sorry, don't know anything about that. Here we go, I would be careful asking about this sort of thing. If it is true, you're only going to antagonize her further. And... I'm a little confused as to why you're worried about this. I thought you were prioritizing the search for your mother. I'm just... trying to keep our school safe, like always. Kaito is a part of this network. He clearly doesn't want to tell me about it. If he's not, I don't think he's keen on looking into it. I just try my luck somewhere else, then. I shouldn't push the issue too far. Thank you for the help. Just be on my way. Right, I understand. Alright, I think I've checked out all the important tables by now. You look presidential. Oh, Kaede, over here. Hey, that's the investigation of a president, Devin Bowden. What? what? Come on, Kaede, join me at the table over here. Investigation Club's president? That must be the person my echo was telling me about. Investigation Club seemed like my best lead so far. I should try talking to Kaede when I'm ready to continue. Anyways, Kaito. Sorry about uh, completely disregarding your uh, advice and your push to take a uh, better path. I'm I'm devoted to chaos. Was there anything else? I really have to check. I was just checking up on things over here. Here we go. I'm sorry about what I said earlier. Hope it doesn't seem like I'm disinterested in help. I really want to avoid further conflict. No, it's all right. I should probably keep looking into this on my own. See you at the club meeting, Kaito. So... Our, uh... Oh dear. Our, uh, returning club president is, uh in this to advance the chess part of the chess club. In hopes of gaining power and changing the way the system is run, fundamentally. Imiko is interested in gaining power to uh, change the way the government is run at its core, put an end to uh, violence in the fighting across the board, which is monumentally broad goal. Mm, just something you need. Is there anything else I need to do before I speak to him? This is probably my last chance to investigate this area. Actually, yes. I want to ask you about something, if you don't mind. Very well. But I am quite busy, Miss Pasaki. Oh. You already know my name. I know the names of everyone at this school. Right. That's totally normal. I just wanted to ask you about the interviews that your club conducts each week. I heard from Ayako that you're always up to date on the latest rumors, and I'm wondering what you do with the data you collected. What? From Ayako? Uh, sorry, girl, we sold you out. Are you crazy? You've been talking to the enemy. But... I would like us the right to know how we work our magic. My fault. Careless. Operations of the Investigation Club are, in fact, a trade secret, no matter how idealistic our members are. Please disregard everything that Ayaka has told you. 
Hold on. I can't just wave this away. So like Kyoshi has returned for a trip and she plans on taking control of the entire chess club. That's so cruel and insincere. She's been spying on us ever even even when she was overseas. I don't see how that relates to us. It sounds like an interna internal affair in the Shinobi Chess Club. Sorry. I know this is all so sudden. It's not to ask for a group that sees us as some sort of rival. There's a lot of history between this behind this feud, but please. You must have some sort of sympathy for our situation. The Shinobi Chess Club has always suffered from hubris. Perhaps this takeover is something common I've played. I don't understand. Why do you hate our club so much? It's not hate that drives my words. Here we go. It's reason. So you believe in supernatural karma? No, not quite. I never to say that for the longest time, your club has been the front and center of the Oshino High School. That sort of institutional pressure breeds a certain type of competitor. Perhaps even the Sume Kyoshi type. Society rewards those that excel at a certain skill. It's no surprise that the ones in charge are the very people that sacrifice everything to win. I heard something like this before. People who get ahead in this world are those willing to step on others to get what they want. Ah. Let's see, they are Kaito's mom. That very perceptive, Miko. Those are the exact words Takane said to you during your patch last week. Uh, yeah. She does have a point. As you know, Sumei is obsessed with victory at all costs. That same drive which causes her to act as she does. Or the name for the education, though she's said in her speeches the past few months. And someone like that should have a right to lead the Shinobi Chess Club. And who would lead in her place? You. Last I checked, you weren't too keen on losing either. After what you said during the Spring Championships last semester. Has he memorized my entire life? Maybe he has a photographic memory. Understand this, I have no love lost for Sume. She's a coward, no doubt about it. The Shinobi Chess Club is long overdue for some self-reflection. This is true. But that I mean you. You didn't choose to hold some sway, so much sway at this school. Most, most members just want to compete and learn. Let me put it this way. The Investigation Club was searching for the Typhoon Initiative for the longest time. We were the ones that first suspected a member walked among us, and it's only after we formed the case that Kaito picked up on that idea. After all, it was hard to ignore reports of Shiro Kuriyami roaming the Shinobi Chess Arena months before the tournament. Wait. You knew all that time? You never said anything to the public? We were preparing a full document that would expose every member and trace of corruption within the school. Something on that scale would have taken quite some time and needed to be so thoughtless in order for the authorities to take proper action. Then when a student named Hiroko Masaki openly declared that Kana Suzuki was the prime commander on live TV. So Shinogi, the power of Shinogi Chess usurped all the legit work that you put in. For that, you hold a sort of metaphorical grudge. Makes sense. It's like uh, thinking about a uh, equivalent of what happened in this case to them. Like they have a non-profit group behind the scenes working together to put put together a flawless documentation, thorough insurmountable evidence that the uh, well-known figure is a predator of some sort or criminal of some sort. Of all this documentation that they can take to the police and uh, essentially have a lock to put this famous person away. Tear them, tear them down. Give them the justice that they, that they deserve. And then Mr. Beast makes videos saying that they're a uh, Mr. Beast, makes, Mr. Beast makes a video with them, says, declares that they are a criminal, uploads the video to YouTube, and then gets all the credit for taking them down. And you just sit there with your uh, massive pile of uh, legit above the board evidence that you've been putting together, and just go, what the fuck? It was luck that saved you that day. Had you lost that match, the district would have waged war on the district with their newly acquired machines. So what exactly should I have done? Reported my findings to you? Precisely. Not combined experiences, I'm positive you could have avoided your gambling altogether and eradicated the 
amicably. I'm guessing that you don't believe that the Shinogi Chess Club should be investigating the way we do now, right? Investigating mysteries is all we have, here we go. Just trying to get by while the world moves around us. The clothes are awarded every opportunity to shine with Shinogi Chess. We don't need to trample anyone else. Not again. Honestly, we could be, uh... Imiko could take a much more strong and amicable route if she did sort of actually talk to Kaito and ally with the uh, investigation club. More will be in five minutes. All students, please record to class for morning attendance. Looks like our time is up. This doesn't have to be the end. Our clubs can still cooperate. We want the same thing, right? We want, to keep, we want to keep the school safe and free from corruption. If you're serious about your intentions, you are free to join us tomorrow morning for a special investigation club case disclosure. Reading at the investigation club room. Don't be late. This is interesting. Is he always that dramatic? Uh, yeah, you should get to class, Emiko. Hmm, this might actually be a good sign. We'll see if Miko doesn't just take this information and run again. Ah. Did you guys see the news this morning? Did you read the latest terror attack? It's like the fifth one this month. It's getting out of hand. Is the police going to do something? It's supposed to do what Kaito was talking about before. It's just to cooperate with Sume because he believes we stand a better chance together. Well, it's not needed, needed anymore. I know, where I'm, I know where my mother is and what she's been up to. Well, here we go. What are you going to do about it? Why don't you need anyone else to help you do something about it? I can't believe what they did this time. An entire, an entire train car total by a bomb? That's awful. Those casualties have no response to the government. Reports say that they stole the train's car over the bombing. What kind of message is that supposed to send? Both sides are at a stalemate. They can't keep going on like this. The attacks will only stop once Yuka Masaki is gone from this world. It's the only way to guarantee the safety of Aichi. It's the only way this will end. I doubt that. But... Uh, hello. Oh, you're actually playing chess. You have to think faster if you're going to win. Remember the time you take for each move. Ten seconds or less. That's it, people. This is how we rise above the rest. But there's no time limit in our exhibition matches. Don't question me. I'm not ready for anything the opponent throws at us. We'll never have the strength to return the school to its former glory. So when can the opponent set an arbitrary time limit? Can't you, right? Uh, yes, am I playing it right? Not too bad for your first game, so I'll give you some credit. Uh oh. Did she not know that I played against her last week? Not satisfied with your piece developments, though. You don't need to waste time doing your pieces individually if you can find a way to move them using the stock method and stack mechanics. You must consider the advantage you stand to gain by letting your pieces work together. Let them support your strategy. Ah, I'll try to remember that. You'd better, or else you'll be picking up the scraps for the rest of your life. And you, Satomi. Disappointed, uh oh. I'm always playing so defensively. It's a pain. You have aggression within you, I know it. Use that, use that to your advantage so that the enemy doesn't trample you like they always do. Oof. Did you hear me? I said use your anger. Be confident. I picked you for a reason. I squander your potential. You miss it. Oh, Jesus. But I just. Tsumei, can we talk for a moment? Fine. Make it brief. Here we go. I'm still teaching. Okay, this is the first chess club meeting where we're actually playing chess. Did you see that your words are hurting her? I don't need to be so inconsiderate when you're giving her feedback. Tough love. You're trying. Here we go. You of all people should know that sometimes these students need a little push to provide the results that you need. She's trying for the tough love part, but it's wrong. Too far. It's indeed too far. 
What do you mean by that? Well, you're the one that pushed Kana to agree to an extra wager during the spring championships, right? Think that little traitor, where is she? She's supposed to be here. That's not the same at all. You're being rude for the sake of it. It's your arrogance that drives your words. Like, even if... Even if her advice about Satomi having the aggression, drawing it out of her, is valid, is true and valid, going about it the way that going about it the way that Sume is is only going to drive Satomi further into herself. So. Ah, I'm just telling our club members the harsh truth that, that they need to hear. Not going to get better if you sugarcoat everything you tell them. It's the only way our school will become the best. Even if you believe that, there's no need to constantly put them down. You could give your feedback without being a jerk. Half measures, Himiko. They won't truly perform up to par until they learn to fear the criticism that comes their way. Wow. Wow. Reasoning with her. He's obsessed with this method of intense practice. Let us do anything else. If that's the case, then it's better that I make my choice clear. I don't agree with this, Sume. It's not right. I knew you'd feel that way. You don't have the authority to make those decisions. I'm in charge here, and I want everyone to get that through their skulls. This is the new Shinogi Chess Club. We won't stop you until Yushino High School is the best in the country. This is how the game will retake its former glory and squash the fat of Shinogi Checkers once and for all. Huh? This school and its top players will advocate for a complete overhaul of the education system. Order control will be the standard, not the exception, and we will believe in this cause. To the bitter end. I can't take this anymore. Not everyone agrees with that mindset, isn't that right? We gotta let it go for now. No need to get worked up. Worked up? She's treating us like garbage. I've dealt with her in the past. It's just how Sume likes to teach. Ah! Can't just get the right idea? That's not what I meant. You need to step back too, Sume. Just need to have an open conversation about how the club's leadership is had. I should solve this. I'll be opening up a suggestion box later this week. You guys likes that idea, shall I be Can't believe this. Tell me you agree with me, right? Sumi's taking this too far. She won't speak up. I don't like what's happening. Miko, you're so naive. I'm done playing around. As the president of this club, I have the final say on who is or isn't allowed in this room. Oh, we're fired. If anyone questions me like this again, you'll be ejected from the Shinoki Chess Club. No exceptions. That's what I thought. Feel free to start your own chess club if you prefer. But good luck getting that approved with the school board. This club is and has always been ruled by the strongest player in Yoshino High School, and that's me. I decide how we operate. End of story. This wretched was wretched weekly. Tensions higher than ever before in the club, I couldn't stand the pressure and returned to my apartment. Sumei threatened us today, there's no denying that she's a menace to the entire school. It's possible the other members are trying to avoid further conflict. That's why they've been afraid to speak their minds. To hell with that. If she wants a war, she'll get one. Everything else on my plate wants one more press to exterminate. No matter how much I struggle and fight for security, this world keeps resisting change. This is only going to end when the right person takes control of the situation. We'll gain enough power to shift the tide. Don't give a damn who I'll have to step on to get it done. I was just about to say that there might be some degree of truth to Himiko caring about how her clubmates are treated after all. She might have actually taken something from their growing struggles and objections with how she's been doing in charge here. 
And she says that. Finally here, wait all semester. You gonna be able to sign up? What's finally here? Well, back for the day of school. Indeed. We'll deal with that next time. <laughs>